Welcome to another RCUniverse.com review. Today we're going to look at the GMFC Pro software that's used to make cutting profiles and also to drive the Hobby CNC board. Under the GMFC menu, if we go to Table Configuration, we can set up a lot of parameters about our foam cutting machine, including how fast the motors are going to move and how big the machine is. Again, under GMFC, if we go to Foam Management, the software will allow us to set several different kinds of foam as a preset and allow us to set how fast to cut the foam and what size the kerf is for each different type of foam. Under Zero Axis, this menu will allow you to jog the machine around and also to set the zero point. This is how you would manually move the machine without using a cutting profile. Under the project menu, if we go to current panel configuration, this is where you set the different profiles that will be used to cut. We can click on an airfoil name and select either a .dat or .cor file. Let's choose the old Clark Y. We can have different airfoils on either side by clicking different root and tip. Now let's change the size of the root Clark Y airfoil to 300 millimeters. When I close that menu, you'll notice that I now have two profiles in my window. And if we go to View Wing, we can see that my root is 300 millimeters and my tip is 150. If we go back to the project menu under Current Panel Configuration and check Wing Panel, we'll be able to add spars to this wing. Go back to Project and select the Spars menu. Click on Active Spar. We can type in a name for our spar. And we select that we want it at 25% cord and how big we want the spar to be. In this case, 5 by 3 millimeters. We click OK. We'll see that our spar has been added to the wing profile. If we go to the cut menu, there are several different options. If we bring up panel cut, this is the main cutting menu for the program. We can select if we want a left or right wing. We can also select the type foam that we're going to cut and the cut speed. Also under the cut menu are special programs for foam cutting, block shaping, and spar cutting. There's even a special program to clean the wire off. The GMFC software will interface with just about any CAD program that can generate a 2D DXF file. You can export profiles that you're working on by going to Project, Export, and selecting either Root or Tip Profile. Then you can bring them into your 2D CAD software and make any special cutouts that the GMFC software can't put in. Then you would re-import it using the DXF Import tool. So there you have it, that's a brief overview of the GMFC Pro software and some of its functions. Check out the complete foam cutting machine how-to article at rcuniverse.com.